Hi everybody, it's Mad Mommy again playing Hardcore Museum. This is episode three and it's daylight now, um, but while it was dark I did some strip mining thinking that maybe I'd hit another emerald and what I found was an underground ravine. So before I get into that, I realized I didn't have a lot of wood with me and that's always a bad thing because then you can't make more um, weapons and things like that. So I came up and it was a long way down there. I came up here, first of all, to drop off some more of this kind of useless stuff. There's rocks I don't need. First, I thought that said anhydrite, which is what I was talking about last time. Get rid of a bunch more um, cobblestone. And let's see here. I want the wood. I don't want all this cobblestone. Okay, I've got a bunch of torches. We'll put the extra up there. And I think I'm going to get a little bit more food before we go into that ravine. I want to be really prepared. So let's go out and get some wood. Of course, I picked a spot uh, that has no trees. I've got to be careful for um, critters and creepers and things because um, I stuck my head out at the nighttime and there was a creeper swimming, there was a skeleton swimming, so they must have come out um, come out of those pools and then burned up some. Okay, so let's get over here and get some of these trees, get some wood, and then we'll look for some helpless animals. I'm not doing bunnies yet because they are, till I get a bow and arrow, bunnies are probably going to be a bad idea. really didn't look this way or that way. So what I did was I uh, wrote down the coordinates of my little house there. I took a, a page out of the notebook of Kid Awesome 2 because um, he lost a bunch of stuff because he couldn't find his way back to where he'd stored them. Um, and he was in a cave system and that's really tough, you know. It, even if you do a method like I do, and that is you put your torches only on the right side, you get turned around when you start getting these branches. And I, even when I've tried putting up signs or maybe uh, torches that form an arrow, I still I can still get my way lost and not find my way back to you know big piles of iron I'd already smelted. And so I wrote down the coordinates. Um, since he did it, I figured I could get away with it, too. Oh. Hey, that'll work. Hi there. Oh, and here's another one. Hi there. Got a little bit of food that way. Um, boy, this is just one big uh, savanna here. Oh, not a whole lot of trees around where I've settled, um, but that's all right. So how much wood do we have? Not enough. I'd really like to have a lot more. And honestly, we could do this until it gets dark. However, I won't do that because I like to get right on back into the action. Um, I just figure I better get us some, some stuff here. And I think last time, though, I hit a bunny with something substandard, and I didn't know how to run. Oh, well, that wasn't near as difficult as I thought. And I do need the hides to make a book. Come here. Oh, well, never mind then, by passing. Wow, somebody trampled these crops. Visitors are, or uh, visitors. Villagers are just not all that bright, are they? I, I love that, they walk on their own crops. You never see them harvest anything. It, it's like they moved into someone else's home and then just wander around until it's night and then they hide like scared little girls. How about an albino one? Wow. That's um, just kind of scary. Well, okay. Well, I guess the problem I had before was that I was not, um, I just didn't have a sword or a good one. I'm not big on killing bunnies, but you know, hey, you gotta eat, right? Come here, I already hit you once. Can't leave you wounded. I know, you guys are all gonna think I'm sick. 
I'll leave you alone. I'm going to go get some mutton. You guys just... Rabbit actually tastes really good. I've tried it. And... Now, I haven't tried mutton. I have tried lamb. And uh, lamb is good. As long as you don't put any of that silly mint stuff on it. I think that's what Troy Boy 777 was saying. That he tried lamb, but it had the mint sauce on it. And... Yeah, that, that I don't know why it comes with that. Oh, there's a nice cave system. Let's stay focused. Okay, so I've got some wood. I don't need any more coal at the moment. There is a lot of iron going on in that ravine. And since ravines go down nice and deep, it might have um, exposed maybe some, uh, some more emeralds. So I only... Stuck my head in for a second. Really? Okay, I stuck my head in for a second to see what it looked like and that's when I realized I need to be better prepared. I did find some more iron. Um, what I did was I, I did some digging off camera because digging is just not that fun to watch. So I managed to make a helmet and some boots. I'd really like some pants. Um, see, now here's the problem. I got myself going after bunnies and then, wow, and then forgot where my home was. All right, well, where's the, okay, there's the trees, but I didn't, okay, it's around this side. Hello. Sheep. So, let's get back in there. I'll cut real quickly and uh, we'll get back in there. Okay, we are now approaching this ravine, and I heard about it because there was a zombie right about there. Now, this looks like a dead end, but I have absolutely no idea how much further it goes that way. So let's dig a little bit this out, and maybe it'll give us a chance to see a little bit more. There goes my torch. Yeah, and I can hear water too, which is, you know, typical of a ravine. You're gonna get those waterfalls. Hmm. Well, this looks like a decently safe way to go down, but what I want is this iron over here. So, oh, wow, that was stupid. Oh, well, here's the iron. And I could hear the water. I think there's a cave as well nearby because I could hear bats on the way here, and they're obviously not here. They're close, though. So this may be um, just the beginning of something interesting. Really don't need any more coal. I'm going to let that be for now. Oh, yeah, see? The iron led me to it. So that was it. Oh, there's the water. Okay. Okay, that reminds me. I should get a bucket. Um for water and things like that. Let's see here. Uh, more iron, okay. So let's um, see what we can do to get over there. This is not my normal keyboard. I'm playing this on my son's computer and so I'm having a little trouble with the controls with the keyboard. Let's light this up. I can see it pretty well, but I want to make sure you guys can up. Oh, I'm going to break a big cardinal rule here. Don't dig straight up, right? Yeah, do you know how many times I've uh, ignored that? And about 75% of the time, it's not a problem. <laughs> Where'd it go? There it is. See, that's the sound I heard earlier. That one, I believe, is a dungeon sound, which I normally would get very excited about. But right now, I don't want to deal with any dungeons because I can't steal anything from them. So frankly, I would just much rather um, not deal with it. So let's see here. Let's see what else is in this area. We're going to let that cook. I am not going to go falling down this time. All right, so... But yeah, if I am fumbling with the keys, it's because I don't really recognize how he's got this. Uh, it's more of a mechanical keyboard. 
whereas uh, I normally play on a laptop, but this has better recording capabilities. So just goofing around, I use my laptop. All right, we came in up here. Yes, so let's make this a little bit easier to figure out. And we'll give ourselves some steps. And then what I'm gonna do is since this is the way home, yes, I'm gonna put up a bunch of torches and what that will tell me is that when I'm trying to find my way back... How many times have I done that now? Enough. Okay, we'll go back over here and get this. Um, that gives me a little way marker so I know how to get back to... Um, oh, come on. Back to where we started. How are we doing? Okay, I can make a bucket Let's do that. I don't need to shear any sheep, so we'll do that. Um, and I still need pants. I need like one more for that. Oh, well, that'll work too. Then I'll feel comfortable traveling around. And I just realized I didn't start my timer. So I better do that now, because I know there's a lot of stuff I skipped out on. Let me set my timer here. Timer. We'll set it at 20 minutes. There we go. In a little while, I'm going to have to pick up my son from school. I pick him up about 3.20. So, um, we should be good. Pants. Ta-da! I am official now. Now, I need to make a good sword or another good pickaxe. Excuse me. Uh, I think a good sword would be a good idea. Because I'm, who knows what I'm going to fight down here. And, no, I'm going to save those. That pickaxe will do just fine for now. Okay, let's pick up our crafting table and our furnace. And let's go find some bad guys. We are ready. Is that it? I went through all that just for that? But I hear water over there, so... I'm thinking I can break through over here somewhere. Let's just try it. Oh. Sounds like it's ahead of me or under me. Aha! See? I knew I heard water and having... Oh, this is nice. Having really nice uh, headphones helps a lot. So, let's see here. Let's get our bucket. Get a little closer. There we go. I'm going to put that up here because I have a tendency to uh, wash everything away without meaning to. Alrighty, let's put some more torches, show where we're going here, and I'm doing it on the right because with this being a ravine, I'm most likely to be going straight. So, let's get into this place. I'm hoping for some more iron, because we need that in a lot of places uh, uh, for this challenge. We need it for this challenge for lots of things. <gasps> Yay! See? This is why I came down here. Let's move that one out of the way. Two emeralds. Nice. Alright. Let's trade this out again. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to carry my sword for a little bit here. And gold. Silver and gold. Silver. Okay, sorry. It's not Christmas anymore. That's what makes um, YouTube 
recording a little more difficult because you're talking to yourself. You have to imagine what the other, what your audience is thinking as you're going along and you're, no. <laughs> so you talk to yourself and you think, okay, I'm talking to an audience, you know, it's like talk to the camera, you know, you're talking to your audience. You know, I think I'm just gonna keep this one out. It's like my lucky pickaxe. All right, there's iron up there. Let's, uh, ooh, we don't want to mess with that. Two emeralds on this trip. Okay, so I need to get up there and stop that up. Mm, one more level. Maybe. There we go. Oh, I see. I was thinking it was going to do some, uh, obsidian right there. I'm not high enough yet. But the water was not on the same level. Well, phooey. There we go. Seems like lava just takes a lot more time to um, disappear. I mean, it's nice to have the light. Okay, there's some bats down there. I'm st I'm not seeing any mobs, and that's bothering me. I don't know why. I am on hardcore mode. It's not like I'm on peaceful. Although, I guess I could check on that. No, because I was playing earlier, and when I looked out the window... It, um, uh, there were mobs. Okay. Oh, <laughs> ask and ye shall find. Isn't that how it goes? Well, no time like the present to try to get some rare drops, right? This is how we get our carrots and, uh, potato seeds. Gracious. And a bat. Does this say, um... Uh, Dead end? Whoops. Gracious. Yep, that's a dead end. Okay. So now I can come up here and relatively safely grab the iron. This has been a pretty fruitful uh, ravine. It's just far enough down. For me to find gold and emeralds and such and make it easier to well hello easier to navigate all right we're going to come around this way and hello and i have an iron sword and it took me forever to get him thank you for the string not so thank you for the uh for the is that a do bats just make that noise Subway so went through. Next up, ravine. All right. So in this one, you've seen me do a lot of digging, but for things that we actually need, which is nice. Okay, well, I'm back. I decided to do um, a bunch of digging and such, and... Um, I have this chest of useless stuff that I wanted to get rid of. I hear a zombie, but I'm not quite sure where he is. I apparently moved away. Oh, oh you're evil looking. How'd you get here? It took you a long way to get here, didn't it? You're kind of uh, a long ways to home. So, uh, like this, another one? Where are you guys coming from? I've been light. Oh my. So, um, you guys have been getting visits from the zombies at the village, huh? That's a, that's a shame. So, like I said, useless stuff. So, um, you know, like eyeballs and diorite and azite and, um, rotten flesh. 
that sort of stuff. I don't need to carry that. In fact, um, my space is precious. So um, what I ended up finding was a lot more iron. And so what I've did is I've already made two blocks of iron and I made three. So we're on our way. In fact, let's hear. Yep, I only need one for my collection, but I need quite a bit to be able to do the iron golem. But I can say that I've got a block of iron. That was item number two on the list. And let's see here. I think that's about it. Yep, but that's one thing and I'm getting closer with the emerald. The emerald's gonna take a while. So we're gonna pick this stuff up. We'll leave the silly chest there or the chest of useless stuff. All right then. So I'm going to make my way back to the house. And looks like I have gotten to the end of this episode. Ooh, that's definitely not the subway. Don't go on that subway. It, that, that's not a line you want to ride on. Anyhow, I'm going to end this episode right now. And uh, episode two is out. Episode 1 is out. This is episode 3. Uh, again, I'll have the links in the description as how to find the Hardcore Museum Challenge. And also for you to subscribe to Kid Awesome 2's channel. He does some awesome stuff. He's playing this challenge as well, although he's on season 2. Um, I think we're about even. No, he's done He's done some more. But uh, we're, we're both trying to play this along the same lines and see how each of us is doing. So, anyhow... As I'd like to say, goodbye!